Seasonal Affective Disorder, or SAD for short, is a type of mental disorder that causes depression based on the time of year. There are different types. There's fall and winter, or summer and spring. Uh, SAD can affect someone at any season, but the reason it affects people is because the different amounts of sunlight based on the different seasons is causes a change in your biology and the chemicals you release leading to depression. Some of the causes are genetics. If your parents or grandparents had it, then you're more susceptible to have it. Your biological clock, meaning your circadian rhythms, when you like go to sleep and the amount of sunlight you get, that affects the hormones being released, and that could lead to seasonal affective disorder. And your melatonin levels, which are the actual hormones. Like if you have low melatonin levels, then you'll probably develop it because your brain will be messed up. Risk factors are family history, as I said, genetic, and pre-existing depression, which can be stacked on top of seasonal affective disorder, and it makes you more likely to develop that as well. Some complications are social withdrawal, problems at work or school, heightened anxiety, and suicidal thoughts. The symptoms are depression, losing interest in activities that once made you happy, low interest, sleeping problems, changes in weight, or difficulty concentrating. And there are different ways of treating it, but the most popular is known as phototherapy, which is where you are subjected to different amounts of light and it tries to balance the amount of light that you've received to get your brain into the season so it can properly release the hormones that you're supposed to be releasing. Um, there are also pills, like uh, you can take pills to release more melatonin or serotonin. And another thing is you can just spend time with friends and family outside so you can get more accustomed to the weather and the season. And some facts are that four out of five um, victims of seasonal affective disorder are female. And also the fact that the farther from the equator you live, the more likely you are to develop seasonal affective disorder.